All right, welcome back to the Vessel Brie. This is going to be messages for the um the fixed signs here, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Doing things a little different. So if you like the way that I read, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you are returning, thank you so much. I love you guys for supporting my channel, okay? Um but something about the town is talking. The town is talking. Talk of the town. The community is talking, okay? This could be, if you're a tourist, the community could be talking about you or a tourist could be talking here. Somebody, the town is talking about something that's going on here, something that you're doing, all right? Um, or you could be talking, all right? I also feel like um, uh, the channel message that I was getting here is someone is experienced, yeah, Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna clarify with Tara here, but there's something about someone experiencing some type of verbal abuse. I heard um like I literally heard somebody say it was like a masculine energy, like an angry man. It could even be like a, a drunken man saying like shut up and do it, shut up and drive, shut up and stop complaining, just just fix it already. Like this is like the verbal abuse here, and then it's like um yeah, because I thought spirit was saying this, and I was like, Spirit, why are you telling me to show? like you know what I mean? So somebody like this could be resonate one moment as I say this, this could be, you know, some Somebody like trying to say this about me. Maybe you watch my channel and they're like, shut up. Or maybe, I don't know. I'm even, I'm getting this message, y'all. Maybe they want you to try to do something to try to stop me from talking. I would not advise that. But yeah, um, I thought, yeah, I thought it was spirit saying this. But yeah, it was another man saying this or a, dis a disoriented man. All right. Someone is being physically abused as well. This could be, um, you or someone else, but this needs to be brought up. This is something that needs to be aware. This is something that is, is being hidden, okay? Or it's still going on. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Because I literally felt it. Like, I literally felt the nose bleed. Like, as soon as I was sharing this message, like, my nose started running. My nose started dripping. And then it felt different. And I was like, this is a nosebleed. I'm feeling someone's, like, pop in the nosebleed. Like, literally, um... And then um, this could be ex involving you or someone that you know is experiencing this. This is why Spirit is bringing this up. All right. This is a time where, like, a lot of uh, bravery, c c courage, dedication is needed. Um, I know fixed signs are naturally resistant to change, so it's really hard to, you know, get into that transformation. But you guys are meant to be independent leaders, okay? You have this type of determination, this this um, commitment to your path, to yourself, to your mission, to whatever you're you're doing um, that requires you this never give up type of mentality. It's really the strength and resilience that you carry. So whoever is experiencing this, you are resilient. You will recover. You will heal. But it's like, thank you, Spirit. You can't heal from what is not being talked about or what from people are not aware of. It's something somebody's not aware of. Yeah, two of swords and 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 ten of wands. Somebody, <coughs> <coughs> somebody don't want to want me to say this message, but somebody's avoiding this or is in denial about this. Somebody's like in their head about the burdens that they caused or whatever. Um. Somebody basically has to take responsibility. Somebody's going to have to take responsibility or take accountability for what they've done in this situation causing this um, abuse, physical or verbal abuse. There goes that strength here, that resilience, that courage, that bravery. Shelby. Somebody's name is Shelby. Shall. Somebody's name is Shall. Somebody's last name, first, middle name is Hall. To help you guys. Um, you can be getting signs. You can get, you've got at least three signs about this person or about this situation. Don't ignore your intuition. Yeah, this is a card of take action. This could also be like, this is, this is Knight of Wands. This is passion, but this is really, this is anger as well. Like an in and out energy, someone who's in and out or someone who, you know, this is like somebody who's like, what? Spirit's saying this is somebody who's like, I, 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 I hit you or I abuse you because I love you type of energy. Like, no. This is an energy that, that like, they'll do it, then they'll stop, they'll turn passionate, then they'll, like, it's, this is a back and forth energy. This is... But I'm getting nine of wands. This person looks happy in this card. Maybe you're a happy, um, pure, good lucky energy, um, because this is, this is fire sign energy. Maybe you're trying to go. There goes the house, ten of pentacles. This could be a relationship that's that's based off of money. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is a family. This could even be somebody getting abused by their family, or this could be a child or a teenager getting abused by their parents. The dogs even getting abused. Like, what is this? Spirit is bringing this out. Somebody messing with someone's security system in their home. If your security system keeps going off or red, like red alarm, like something to do with red. All right. Um, seven of Pentacles here. And Page of Swords. There goes the talking. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. That's like, uh, I'm getting like friends, family, um, somebody went to reconnect. So then you have new love here, leap of faith, the devil card. Ten of wands. It's like somebody wants to have this new energy of love with you, but they're like, they're a karmic with the devil card here with the ten of, ten of wands. They have yet to take responsibility. This could even be somebody new that you've met, okay? If you're meeting somebody new, or if you met, already met somebody new and you're wanting to take this new leap of faith with them, this could be an Aries. Somebody is like having to take responsibility for something that ha that involves this abuse here that I'm talking about. So if this is not your situation, this new person that you're, you met or something like that, this is their situation. Something something is like not right. Seven, three pentacles, seven pentacles, ten pentacles, three pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is maybe, maybe somebody wants to leave. Maybe somebody wants to focus on self-love. Okay, maybe somebody wants to get away. This is what I'm getting intuitively, y'all. Um, if you take the seven, if you take the ten from the seven or however you want to say it, that makes the three. That's teamwork. That's collaboration. That's, you know, people watching you. And with the page of swords, I feel like somebody's been watching or stalking your work, stalking um, your home, what you're working on, who you're working with. Right? Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're awakening to this. It's also to do with, like, investments with um, money. But the page of swords, I feel like you're you're somebody's going to be gaining a new perspective about the situation. King of Wands, I feel like there's an age difference. This is like a older man who's very promiscuous could be dealing with a younger woman that they're abusing. Two of swords, this is what's not being seen, or somebody's in denial about this, or somebody is avoiding this situation. Why, spirit? Why? Yeah, holding back. Somebody's holding back or rejecting. Or somebody feels like they're not going to have any money anymore. They're not going to have any stability, any security. So they're they're um, holding on to this person and holding resentment at the same time. This four, of sword, this four of Pentacles is also like, wow, somebody trying to get somebody to like, somebody's trying to get someone away from their family, get someone to reject their family. Like, come over here, go with me. I have, the, I have the Ten of Pentacles over here. I have much more security and stability. Um, over here, you'll have more security and stability with me. I'll get you going. I'll be able to, you know, help you take action on your passions, on the things that you, you want to do. Let me just see here. I'm not going to take them all. Wow. So somebody is watching. There's an emperor here. There's a somebody with a high power of authority. They've been watching for a minute. They've been thinking for a minute. They haven't been saying nothing. A lot of critical thinking, a lot of critical analyzations of what move to make first. Because there is competition here. There is conflict. There is chaos with what's being um, invested in, with what's with what's been growing, with what's with what's growing. Somebody's like. Somebody's like, literally now they're thinking like, hmm, I wonder if this was worth it, all the chaos that I caused. There's somebody, like, this is even people talking like, does this person think that this was worth it, all the chaos that they caused? So I don't know if this is something that people do know about, and it's not being talked about, it's being avoided, but they're, this King of Swords with the Emperor here, they're watching the chaos, they're watching the competition, they're watching this go on. The King of Swords is also a very honest person, head over heart decision. The King of Swords also gives me like somebody in the law, an official, um, a lawyer, an investigator, with the emperor here, somebody does have a high power of authority. They do get shit done. They are a boss. This could also be someone's boss watching what's going on in the workplace. This could also be someone's father. Someone's father aware of some type of abuse 
or trap or someone's father abusing and trapping them. Like I said, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But there's a lot of fear here. If somebody's holding back from from you or, or this could be a family dynamic, this is out of fear from, from something else that's going on. Death and rebirth, yeah. There is going to be a transformation. I do feel like this this does end. Something is going to end. Whatever this is, whatever is going on, it's going to be transformed, and you will be able to. Somebody's going to be able to walk away from whatever was keeping them stuck. Somebody's reevaluating something. Somebody's reevaluating something. Eight of Swords with the Lovers. Let me get my other cards, y'all. Yeah, somebody's talking about a relationship, a connection. Gemini Virgo energy, the world card, but there's some type of cycle coming to completion. So whatever this is, I can't even find where my cards was at. Whatever this is, is going to end. Somebody's not going to keep getting verbally or physically abused. This is not, no. This is somebody trying to like, wow, this is like some puppet shit. This is like somebody trying to say, I'm helping you grow. I'm helping you get more with the seven of pentacles. I'm going to help you, you know, invest in this. I'm going to help you invest in yourself. I'm going to invest in you, do the work, right? But they're in fear of something or there's fear being projected. There's something they don't want you to see that they're shining on you or that they're putting um, over top of you. And this is like binding here. Page of Swords. Wow, Spirit said, yeah, narc. Somebody's dealing with a narcissist. Boundaries, block, deny, run away. Whatever this is, somebody is definitely dealing with a nar narcissist. Divine intervention is here. Yeah, this narcissist doesn't want to give up, but they're going to have to. They're going to have to. Yeah, and then you have save the children. So this could involve children. Save the children um, as well. Or this could involve a child, your child. Yeah, mediumship, spiritually gifted. You could be a, a spiritually gift medium. Very empathic here. Oop, 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 oop. Very empathic here. And then there goes that family here. Um, this could be your family, somebody else's family. Somebody was doing some type of spell work. When this card comes out, no, this is like, this is like deep, dark shit. This is like shit that you are going to have to pay debt karma for so maybe spirit has you holding back from specific family members yeah protect your energy like i said this could be yours or somebody else's yeah because somebody is like money driven or somebody wants to a relationship wants to build a relationship off of money or the hidden attentions behind this is fear of losing money or investments yeah spirit saying don't stress it don't stress it relax don't worry about this this situation is being taken care of whether this involves you or another person one more card here yeah, maintain control, healthy control. Maintain control of yourself. Nobody is in control of you, all right? Somebody was trying to do some type of setup or make some type of setup or this is, could be what's currently going on to gain control, but be, you know, be aware, you know, move in silence. You are protected here. You are protected, all right? And Spirit is saying, this is the truth. I am the truth speaker. Or you could have spoke the truth in a situation and you were right. Follow your intuition, All right, because there it goes, there it goes. What's happening is here is this person you're dealing with or these people that are trying to connect, to you, to connect to you, they're broke, it's a front, and you're elevating to new heights. And it's putting them in their emotions. That's what's really going on. Spirit saying this is the truth. The truth is being spoken. All right, y'all. So, yeah, and some of you guys are very clear cognizant. Some of you guys are extremely spiritually gifted. So this can be somebody you're trying to Find your gifts as well. Your your keep you to hold back from your ancestor, your lineage, where you really come from. Yeah, you cannot be controlled. Trying to captivate you, you cannot be cannot be controlled. Absolutely not. Wow. On the back of this card, what did I say? Some puppet shit. This is some puppet master type fucking energy. But baby, guess what? There ain't no strings attached. <laughs> your ancestors ain't playing. They ain't playing. Your ancestors ain't playing. They said, not playing. We got your back, baby. We got you covered. We got you covered. I'm also seeing police uh, helicopters covering uh, a, a home or hovering a home or covering something here. So somebody could be getting uh, arrested or, like I said, on the run. This could be the narcissist running. They could be getting caught up. All right. Nothing against you will ever prosper. You are protected. You are protected. 
Okay, and y'all, this is, you know, you're not alone. This, whatever abuse this is, this could even be um, sexual abuse for some of you guys, verbal, physical, sexual abuse. You know, whether this was happening to you or somebody that you were dealing with, connected with, understand that you are not alone. You are loved. You are worthy. You will be able to heal from this. Angels are helping you, guiding you, protecting you. Look, heal traumas. You will be able to heal from this. Your money will continue to manifest. All right, and some of you guys already know this because you are profoundly clairvoyant. Clair what did I say? Clairvoyant. Lord Jesus. Clairvoyant. All right. And you are on a mission. You have a purpose here. Okay. So trust your intuition. What do we say? You're, you're, you could be a medium. You could be clairvoyant. You could be, um, I forget the other one, <laughs> uh, empath. All right. So you are extremely gifted. Okay. You could also be a, um, a water sign. So any water sign here, you could be a Scorpio or have water in your chart. Okay. Emotional intelligence here. You could be between 20 and 30 years old. All right, and know that your kids love you. You are a good mother, mother or father. You are just because of what you've been through does not um what you've been through does not have defined you. But yeah, like I said, something is all about money. Something was tr somebody was trying to connect to someone for money. And this could even be a generational thing with the Ten of Pentacles here. Maybe you had a whole back, you had to break some type of curse here when it came to like making connections based off of money, right? You could be an earth sign, you could be a Taurus. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Get one empowerment card because I didn't want to make it too long of a read. Um, so I hope this helps somebody out within their situation, but I feel like you're going to have a lot of epiphanies. People are going to talk, look, whatever they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Let them let them do them and you do you. Um, yeah, so we're going to we're gonna cancel out with empowerment card here. We're already at 17 minutes. You can also be seeing 777 a lot, the number 777 a lot. I see the spring of healing trying to come out. Equinox balance. Okay, spirits, what do they need to know before we go? What card do you have Ooh, for them? Oh, two. Yeah, you have staircase of knowledge here. And then oak tree of strength. So much strength. So much. What did I say? Y'all are strong. Y'all are resilient. Y'all have this never give up mentality. The days that people are going to be waiting you for to give up, they're going to be crusty bones in their damn rocking chair. They're like, listen, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you will never give up. You are resilient. You are strong and capable. I fulfill the responsibilities in my life. I'm an oak tree of strength supporting those who are close to me. Okay. Um, what else we have here is the power of yang. Wow. And then happy heart here. I am in control of my future. I'm a person who takes action with intention. I endure difficulty and strength knowing that the result of perseverance is success. Wow. So spirit is, is, is calling you to persevere through. You will, you know, you will end up with a happy heart. All right. Like the sun, I radiate confidence as success. I pulled into my orbit. I will be victorious based on my merit, not the whims of change. Wow. So you guys are already victorious here. I feel like some of you guys need to connect more, you know, with the sun here, possibly with your um, yang energy. But you pull success towards you. All right. Success is already here. And then you have happy heart here. All right, so y'all love. Love is in the energy. You will be happy. I feel like this is your happy days. I have a happy heart. Today will be full of joyful moments waiting for me to discover um, my gratitude overflows from my inner self to those around me. So I feel like with everything that you've been through, experienced, you were able to keep a pure heart, a loving heart, a happy heart. All right, and that is like people are able to see that. People are able to see your lights, your, your, your power, how powerful you are. Yeah, your divinity. People know you are divine. Like, there's you, it's undeniable. I'm a love child of divinity. Reality is a love story written for me. I sit silently and experience the loving embrace from my eternal mother. I store up the words of affirmation of my ageless father, the tender words that spoke my consciousness into existence while wow, before me. This is like, even if you don't, you know, this could also be speaking of, you know, when I, when I say father, you know, the most high God, universal God, um, 
is is my father, right? And then a um, mother here, Gaia, Mother Earth, right? The Earth is 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 your um mother. And then we've seen staircase staircase of knowledge at the bottom of the deck at some point in time. The Earth is your your knowledge, your 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 school here. Yeah, jewels of Ludus. I am transcendent, emerging from the veiled depths. I unfurl my essence, petal by petal. As I open myself, the divine light within grows brighter, revealing the truth that I am a precious jewel. Wow, this is beautiful, you guys. So it's like almost like a blessing through turmoil. At the end of, of, of it all, after everything that you've been through, it, sh it cannot break you. It shall not break you. It will not break you. And it's because of the heart that you have. It's because of the life force energy that you're tapped into, right? Some of you guys are going to be meeting a divine um, masculine soon. This could also be, you know, happy times within your love life. Um, somebody could be dealing, uh, yeah, you could be a Leo, all right? Um, and then embrace divinity. You are divine. You have this godly essence. You are a god or a goddess tapped into that life force energy co-creating with the universe. And, and transcendent people see this. It's undeniable. People see you blooming, growing brighter and brighter. People see your shine. It's time for you to see your shine. All right. Keep shining. Out of the sunshine on me. Out of the sunshine on me. There ain't nothing nobody can do. There's nothing you will experience in your life. This is what I'm, I'm seeing. Nothing you have experienced in your life or will that could ever harden that pure, happy heart that you have. All right. So keep that. Don't ever become, this is something that I, I tried to say literally since childhood. I will never, even at times that you know I've seen myself, you know, and I had to, you know, stop myself and come back like, ah, 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 hold up. Let's come back to that place of healing, right? Because I will never become who hurts me. And sometimes when you, you know, you get to that place where you, you wake up and you have that epiphany like, wow, let me change my perspective. Let me do something different because am I becoming what I work so hard not to become? right so it's almost like you know never become who hurts you and i feel like that's what you guys have done that's what you guys have worked so hard to do and you you have not and you will not all right something about the have nots <laughs> all right that's what i have for you guys I really hope to help somebody out within their situation all right and and shine baby shine don't be afraid don't be fearful two 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 as i say this look up angel number twenty two twenty two as we exit this read and see what that means for your situation but Baby, just let the sun shine on you. Just let the most high shine on you. All right? Let the most high show you. All right? That's what I have for you. Peace.